Hello! In this video, I'm going to give you a short demonstration on how to use Draw.io to produce a mock-up or a wireframe of a web page. So we're going to go in our browsers to Draw.io and press Enter. It takes a little while to load, but it is loading. Here we go. So it's asking where do we want to save the diagrams to, so I'm going to choose to put them in my Google Drive and I have to authorize it to my account. Great, okay, so now I can create a new diagram or open an existing one. So I'm going to create a new diagram. And you've got some options down the side with the different charts you can choose. Uh, and there is a section called wireframes and it's useful, but it, each one will come filled with stuff that you'll probably want to delete. So if you just go for a basic one and we'll give it a name my website home page and press correct, uh, create. So here's the uh, draw IO interface. So here is the area that we're going to actually be making uh, our website on and you can zoom out and you can see that's our page. Uh, it should normally be an A4 page here so it's just ready for printing. You can change to a landscape page if you want, portrait, and you can choose some different sizes as well. So we want to use Draw.io to draw a, a wireframe of a website. Uh, so we're going to be using the, some, some shapes that aren't available just yet. We have to click more shapes. And you can see the various shapes that we can use. And uh, we want to use the mock-up shapes. Just to make life a bit easier, let's untick some of the other ones that we don't need. We'll keep general arrows basic. It's probably quite useful. Mm, we don't need that one. Uh, but we do want mock-ups because mock-ups gives us things like buttons, uh, profile pictures, video players, and lots of other shapes we can drag in. So let's press apply. And now I've got my mock-up options here. So let's say I want to do a new website. One of the containers we can drag is a browser window. We can drag that onto our page, maybe a little bit further down a page like this. Here we go. And we can resize it. It's very clever. As you resize, it only resizes the content area. It doesn't stretch the rest of the page. So we can just drag that out a bit and drag that down. And now we've got a nice big area that we can use for making our web page. In fact, I might even drag this down a little bit so we've got some space to put a title. Let's grab some text. Is there a better text under a basic? No, those are just other shapes. Okay some text and I'm going to drop it on at the top, uh, make it a little bit bigger and we'll give it a title so we'll just sort of call this home page. Um, make that bigger. Whenever you want to change text you can use the, uh, as long as you've got the text object selected then you can use the text window uh, or a tab here on the right and you can choose fonts and sizes so I'm just going to make that a bit larger. So that's my, this is my home page. Now, back to this browser window. There's some fun things we can do. It gives us the option to actually put some text in here. So I can double click where it says page one and I can call that uh, my website. So you can imagine this is what would appear in the tab in a browser. And likewise, I can double click on the uh, URL and we could change this to something like www.mywebsite.com. You can put in there whatever you like, but that would be your domain for your web page. Now we need to put some actual content in the page, so we can just use our mock-up tools to drag that in again. So we have various options, and if you hover over, you'll see that they, they show for you. Um, we have sort of pre-built forms that can be very useful. So if you wanted to do a sign-in form, we can just drag and drop that straight on. So maybe we could put that in the corner um, or something like that. You could have, we can click on it again to delete it. Um, we've got some uh, tabs, if you wanted to have tabs to your forms. There's, there's so many options, it's well worth just, just hovering around and seeing what, what different options we've got. Um, we've got navigation bars available here somewhere. Uh, navigation, mock-up navigation. So you'll have some scroll bars, uh, pages at the bottom, um, breadcrumbs, so some different options there. Uh, and some links here. The links are actually under uh, mock-up text for some reason, so I might grab that in. I'm going to put some links in the, in the sort of side up in the sort of top left of my website. 
and I might put a logo. Uh, and now for a logo, we don't actually need to put the actual logo in, we can just put what we call a placeholder. So I'm going to put a placeholder here to show that my logo would go here, and I'm going to double, oops, no I'm not, I'm going to drag some text, drop it over there, oh, don't know what happened then, it disappeared, drag the text on, ah, it's replacing it, that's what it's doing, drop it in there, double click and I'll call that logo, um, and I'm going to put a nice big, I'm going to have a sort of a jumbo image uh, right on the front of my home page here and again I put some text on and I double click and I can write what this is so this is going to be uh, maybe uh, image slider uh, showing special promotions so a nice little bit of annotation so I know exactly what this is for I can just drag to make that a bit bigger so it fits better okay uh, and maybe we want to have some little controls for that, so we might want to have some form of uh, buttons at the bottom. So again, we could just, just use some little circles perhaps, make them small. Uh, we can zoom in to help us with this. So I've got my little controls, they're not quite lined up, but I can select them all by holding shift and clicking on their edges. I should be able to arrange a line by their tops so they're all in a nice line. And I can zoom out. And you can imagine that that might be the controllers to uh, sort of show us which of the different images we're on. Uh, we could add some text. We get some built-in text. This is really useful. If you think you're going to need, uh, you, you might have quite a lot of text on your, on your page, you can just drag a whole chunk of what we call lorem ipsum, which is... Um, it's sort of a bit like Latin, it's not actually, it makes completely no sense whatsoever, but it looks like English in terms of it's got similarly length words. You can imagine what a paragraph of text would look like on your homepage. Um, and actually, probably on a homepage, you really wouldn't want a lot more text than maybe a couple of sentences. So let's delete that, and let's imagine we just had a bit of, like, welcome text or something there. So that's it, really. Um, I encourage you to explore and experiment. Uh, like I say, you've got all sorts of different options that you can, you can use in terms of the shapes. Um, it's well worth just having a look. Um, we can bring a little shopping basket shape in there if we want to. Um, and you can just use these to just build up what your site's going to look like. You've got uh, all of them there available to you. Just hover your, hover your mouse over them and they'll show you the different things that you can click and drag on. Nearly all of them can be customised. If they contain any text, uh, typically you just double click on the text to change it. Um, and you can build up your designs that way. Once you've got a, a basic page design done uh, and you want to, um, let's say maybe you've done a master page, a template page, and you want to then use that over and over and over again, um, you can simply make a copy and then on the copy, you can just make the tweaks, the changes that you want to for your subsequent pages. So that's it. Um, there's not really much to it, to be honest. Once you've gone in and you've selected new document and you've made sure you've chosen the right shapes, everything's there for you to play with. Um, and you can just use it to design the layouts of your pages to your heart's content. Enjoy.